Welcome! What is going on, people? Today I'm going to start a new game. This is going to be a dwarf-based game in the Rimhammer world. Rim world, obviously. Um, and we're going to do a sweet mountain base and see where we can go with it. I've been fiending to do some dwarfing, so here we go. Um, I'll put the complete mod list in the notes for this episode. This is episode zero. If you want to get in and just start with the game jump ahead to episode one and it will begin other things of note anyone can magic so we will be able to have magic dwarves i did re-add somebody else made a mod uh, looks like florent to add insect infestations back so we'll have both skaven and insect infestations in this game these decorating mostly i like this mod because it adds steps which looks awesome in a dwarven hold Although enemies do frequently smash them up, but that's just fine. Um, so, other big says a lot of vanilla animals or vanilla expanded animals that I've added in and biomes. I don't even know that we'll visit those, but it is what it is. Fantasy goblins I've added as well. So I'm really looking forward to having some fun with that. I'm gonna try the ideology patches for vanilla expanded. Don't even know if it's necessary, but we'll see. Um, Anyways, you get the idea. We are going to just jump in. Again, episode zero will have full mod list. So I'm going to do... I'm not going to do the Lone Slayer. I think that just slows down the start too much. Um, I'm not sure who I did last time. We'll do Blood and Dust on Cassandra. I usually do Randy, but it's getting kind of stale. So let's uh, let's do something a little different. I'm going to do 100. Whenever I do medieval games, I like to raise population dramatically. Um, temperature, I'm just going to leave those normal. You can get a swath by settling in different areas anyways. And rainfall, kind of the same, just based on where you settle and to some degree um, what the game's going to do to you here. But you only want, apparently, 11 factions, so... Otherwise, the game will squawk at you, I think. Yeah, see? Okay, so we're good. So we have insects. We want the outcasts for sure. Ogres, Skaven, Empire. So I'm going to have all the Rim Hammer races that are currently done added in. And let's pick a seed for this one. We're going to go with Under the Mountain. This is going to take a few minutes. I did kick out a bunch of mods that were causing errors. I'm trying to minimize the errors. And I play these games in dev mode just because I'm playing a lot of my own mods. So if I encounter something weird, I want to know about it so I can correct the issue. I'm debating on adding achievements to the vanilla achievements mod. So if you think that'd be a good idea, let me know. I could work that mod into this game yet. Um, and then we could come up with achievements to add for dwarfs. I think that would be a fun thing to do. And I've never messed with adding them but according to the steam page the, those guys set it up so that you can easily add them to your mod so should be fun i don't really know that it if it's going to slow things down dramatically I, I don't imagine it will but we'll muck with it if you guys think it's a good idea and see what we can do so i want it to be on impassable i should have checked my mod settings but it's a little too late for that now i also want to be around dwarfs empires Beastman. I made max population max. There's not a lot of dwarfs. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're scattered sporadically, but kind of like in this spot down here. We have a lot of beastmen. There's some empire. I don't want to end up in a boreal forest. That's what I played in last time. I'm also not really wanting to end up in the old growth old growth forest because I have some vanilla expanded mods that will mess around with the number of. Uh, or with the plants. There's a temperate forest. Temperate forest. Be nice to be near goblins so we can go over there and smack them. I really like it down here because we can smack all these beastmen, smack these skaven. There's outcasts so we can capture people. There's empire to trade with in several spots. So maybe we just pop it in here somewhere and see how that goes. I'm going to avoid caves for the minute. It's going to be a colder biome. All right, let's do it. Um. This is the big question. You get weird errors if you don't do ideology. So I guess we'll set something up here. So dwarves are definitely embodied theist. That fits their lore to a T. Now let's see what makes them. They're generally xenophobes. 
One thing I don't like about that is you can eat aliens. It's actually preferred and required. That's no bueno. That doesn't fit. Just because you don't, like, uh, we won't get into that kind of bullshit, but uh, that seems weird to me. Symbol burnt. All right, let's keep looking here. I think it's obvious that tunneler is preferred. Means they'll eat insect, which is fine. Um, they start with stone cutting, which they probably do anyway. I don't think they have a gender supremacy, nature, human, high life. Now, transhumanist would work to some degree, but you get into all these like sleep accelerators and all that weird shit, and you can't purge it, so I'm just not going to do it. Take from the weak, spread beliefs, rancher, they're not going to be doing a lot. So we have impact four. That's pretty high. Let me just double check if anything else makes If we could just play a slayer hold. This one would be awesome. Pain is virtue. Not entirely applicable, but still would work. Darkness. Uh, this one we can't use regular fire. I don't really like that because we do end up with magical lights. And I, I don't think it's... If we were doing like, I don't know, maybe night goblins or someone, that would, would be perfect. Blind sight. No. Okay. We're moving on. <laughs> one thing about the beard and mustache setup. I don't really see the dwarven ones in here, so. so I just added a few of those. Anyways, I'm all done with all this stuff. So, collectivist tunnelers, which seems very dwarven. I've named the gods Grungy, Valaya, Grimnir. It's, oh, this is misspelled. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know. Grungni. There you go. Valaya, Grimnir, Gazul. Uh, they're going to like insect meat. I tweak these things to see appropriate for dwarves. Um... We have a high chief, solidarity miner. It fucking changed all these things on me. <laughs> Why does it do that? Now I have to change them back. All right, I have everything renamed again. I think it was doing that because it was adding apostrophes to some of the names. And uh, it didn't do that when I didn't add apostrophes. So now it looks stupid, but it's fine. <laughs> Moving right along, our people. So I'm going to pick people with no injuries first. Anybody with injuries in this list, I always just drag to the bottom. You have an ambrosia addiction. You And we can cure those later on, but early on, I don't really want to. So if we just go with the defaults. Holy shit, look at these skills. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh... I don't really want to start. Well, first off, everybody has to do mining, too, so... And we have no good miners here. So I'm going to putz around with these guys. This guy's like a tunnel illuminator, so he'll be a good miner. With the sh worst stats ever. Annoying voice. Super immune, misandrous, teetotal. Ugh, ouch. I might just randomize. I do have prepared carefully going. Doesn't do dumb labor. Doesn't do mining. So we can't start with two people that don't do dumb labor. That's pretty much the bottom line there. All right, I did end up mucking around a little bit. I just couldn't get somebody who didn't feel like screwing around. I don't like these hats, but I don't know how to get rid of them. Um, it's definitely not here. I don't know if there's a button and I'm missing it. Uh, world. No idea. I think they suck. They don't fit the pawn. I could randomize his appearance. This guy's got an awesome beard. Whatever. I guess we'll just go with it. I'd, I'd rather they just had basic hats like that, but it is what it is. All right, so we'll jump in. I think we have everything set up, and then uh, that'll be the end of this episode once we take a peek at where we're starting here. All right, let me go show you my settings for the dwarf mod um, because it does control how these maps generate. So this is what I'm using. I'm using vanilla style and passable maps, and I have density set to zero. So you're going to get more land um, than you otherwise would but this versus having more mountains you set density to really high you'll just end up with these tiny spaces and almost all the map will be mountain so this one should be fun please leave a like if you're enjoying comment let me know what you think about the achievements uh, next time we'll get going i love you guys i'll see ya